In this tutorial we will discuss two electrode system and three electrode system. Let's begin with two electrode system. It is the electrode system, which includes working electrode and reference electrode to measure the potential across the complete cell. It is the early voltammetric methods relied on the use of only two electrodes. The potential of one of the electrode is sensitive to the analyte's concentration and is called the working electrode or indicator electrode. It is denoted by WE in the figure. The second electrode, which is called the reference electrode serves to complete the electric circuit and provides a reference potential against which the working electrode's potential is measured. It is denoted by RE in the figure. Ideally, the reference electrode potential remains constant so that any charge in the overall cell potential is attributed to the working electrode. In voltimetry, current flows through the system in a certain direction that is current I is not equal to zero. The passage of current changes the concentration of species in the electrochemical cell. Thus, potential is not in equilibrium which leads to the polarization of the electrode. In two electrodes system current flows through the reference electrode. This results in polarization of the electrode. Due to polarization, potential of the reference electrode may change over time. But reference electrode should not change its standard potential in order to measure the exact potential of working electrode. Due to change in standard electrode potential of the reference electrode, it can no longer act as reliable reference electrode. Now, in order to make it working, an additional potential should be applied which is called over potential. Thus, over potential is that potential which should be added to drive the reaction at reference electrode that should occur ideally. It is given as over potential equal to applied potential minus equilibrium potential. The over potential may be positive or negative. Positive over potential indicate anodic reaction that is oxidation. And negative over potential indicate cathodic reaction that is reduction. This change in potential break down the electrochemical system and no result is obtained. Thus, two electrode system can't be used for exact measurement of potential so another electrode called auxiliary electrode or counter electrode is to be immersed. Three electrode system. It is the electrode system, which includes working electrode, auxiliary electrode, and reference electrode to measure the potential across the complete cell. The auxiliary electrode is also often called counter electrode. A simple illustration of three electrode system is shown in the figure you can see this also. In two electrode system, due to flow of current through the reference electrode, over potential arises which resulted the deviation from the expected results. Thus, this requires another electrode that is auxiliary electrode which is added to such electrochemical system to carry the current between working electrode and auxiliary electrode. The potential of the working electrode is measured with respect to reference electrode. This potential is given by Ohm's law, E equal to IR that is, when current I flows through an electric circuit with resistance R, voltage E is developed. Since the current flows via auxiliary electrode, no current flow to the reference electrode and thus the change in reference potential due to flow of current through it is accounted by the auxiliary electrode. So, measurement of potential produced on working electrode due to electrochemical change by the flow of current can be measured with the help of reference electrode that is reference electrode becomes effective. Commonly used materials as working electrode are platinum, gold, pyrolytic graphite, liquid mercury, etc. In the figure working electrode is denoted by WE, reference electrode by RE, and auxiliary electrode by AE. Here extra electrode auxiliary electrode is used to measure exact potential. And the working electrode should be polarizable. Properties of auxiliary or counter electrode. Electrochemical properties of auxiliary or counter electrode should not affect the behavior of the electrode of interest. That is working electrode. It is usually chosen to be an electrode that does not produce substances by electrolysis that will reach the working electrode surface and cause interfering reactions there. Frequently, it is placed in a compartment separated from the working electrode by a sintered glass disc or other separator, etc. Properties of working electrode Good electrical conductivity 
inertness and wide potential window. Low background current. Geometric reproducibility. Solvent compatibility. Catalytic properties, etc.